and eating all the food every single day and it sucks but I'm going to do it and I'm going to keep doing it because recovery is worth it. Yes. Hello citizens of YouTube, my name is Nightingale and thank you so much for clicking on my video. I just wanted to make a little video explaining what my channel is going to be all about and to let you guys know what you should expect from me in future videos. Now I just wanted to start this video off with just a few background facts about myself. For starters, I am a junior at a university in Nevada and I am a theater major. I've been acting since I was in seventh grade and I've been doing lighting technician stuff <laughs> since freshman year high school and the technical side of theater is where my heart's at. Now don't get me wrong, I do love acting, I just, I'm never gonna make a, my, a career out of it. And I thought I'd use the skills that I've learned from my acting background here on YouTube. And I've been doing videography stuff and photography since probably, eight, since eighth grade. I took a few years off in high school from it and then I resumed my videography passion, my junior year of high school, I think. Yeah, I'm originally from the Bay Area. My family has a place in Truckee and I go stay there on the weekends because I am a ski and snowboard instructor at one of the ski resorts in the Tahoe area. I am very passionate about my health and well-being. The majority of the foods that I eat are whole plant-based foods although I do snack a lot but all the snacks that I do eat are more on the cleaner side so I'm not gonna go eat a candy bar I'm gonna go eat a buffet bar in my last what I eat in the day video I ate like three or four buffet products and I do that legit on a daily basis now most importantly what I wanted to talk about is my eating disorder the focus of the majority of the videos I'm going to put out on this channel are going to be centered around uh, my recovery process from my eating disorder and tips and tricks on a more effective recovery. Now before my eating disorder took full effect, I was <clears throat> I was vegan for a year, but unfortunately my body and my digestive system in particular did not thrive off of a vegan diet. I am gluten and dairy intolerant, so everything I will be eating and the recipes I will be making in the videos on my YouTube channel are not going to include those ingredients. And maybe later I will do a 50 facts about me, whatever those videos are, um, if you guys want to know more specifically who I am and uh, what I'm doing with my life, besides those basic overall facts that I shared in the beginning of this video. So my SD card of course ran out of battery, so if the angle changed I'm sorry about that because my Gorilla Pod sucks and it keeps falling over every single time I move my camera, but that's all behind us now. So let's get on to the second part of the video. I wanna tell you guys what videos you can expect from me in the future. The main focus of my videos are going to be centered around eating disorder recovery. So in each of my videos, you guys can expect um, at least one little tip or trick that I want to share with you guys about recovery. If not, the whole video will be a more in-depth talk about one specific topic that I want to talk about, about recovery. You guys can expect a lot of full days of eating videos. I really like watching those videos on YouTube, so I'm gonna be putting out that type of content. And also recipe videos. My next video is actually going to be a recipe video, so watch out for that next week. I also want to include a little bit of travel vlogging because I don't know I'm kind of proud of them and I really like putting together travel edit videos I want this channel to be everything that I want it to be and I'm not going to limit it just to eating disorder recovery but that will be 95% of the content on this channel if you guys want more of my lovely face and more eating disorder recovery content I do have an Instagram 
is going to be right here. It is intuition in the kitchen. Yeah, my DMs over there are always open, so feel free to stop by and ask me a question, or if you just want general advice on recovery, hit me up and I'll help you out. I was like, why does my thumb hurt so much? But then I remembered, I have a sprained thumb and I took my brace off a little bit ago because it was all sweaty and I just wanted to air it out a little bit. Yeah, that's actually the end of my video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you guys find the time to like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you think the most important part of recovery is. All right, bye guys, see you next week. I did a really stupid thing. I was out skiing on Sunday and I hit a jump that I did not run by first to check it out and it was a last minute decision and I hit it too fast and there was a lot more pop than I thought there was going to be and I flew a little bit further, overshot it, hit the flat, hit my head and sprained my thumb. Yay!